What's up lovely people, Marwan Gaming here and today I'm bringing you a highly requested video about maps and mob types. So this is gonna like help you a little bit, uh, for the, especially for the beginners, like knowing the maps and what to look for. And also of course the mob types and elites. Uh, I'm not gonna go through many elites, I'm gonna go through three elites that you need to pay extra attention to when you get. Uh, this here is uh, a forest and it is overall the best map uh, in the game uh, it contains like when it's when it's uh, like a good tile it beats any map in the game in terms of progress that you can get on one single map uh, what's good about this map is that you can drag like uh, you can body drag or just like if you're playing in a four-man group the barb pulls everything uh, to one spot where you can kill everything off and hope for a good conduit uh, like in a pile of spawn uh, you'll see here that uh, I managed to actually get all of the elites to one location and get a good conduit and kill them off with that conduit. This was not even a good mob type, guys. Like, I could have finished uh, Great Rift 121 with this, uh, with the same uh, with the same rift that I had here, and it was not even a good mob type. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you fail many rifts and you wonder, like, hey, I got a good first floor, but I couldn't finish it, uh, the follow-up needs to be good. So if the follow-up is not good, you're not gonna finish the rift. That's how it goes, guys. Uh, what's so good about this map is it's very large, easy to pull, usually very high density, and also uh, you can al also very easily kill elites if you manage to uh, get elites that follow well. This, in my opinion, is the second best map called Battlefields. Uh, people really like this map. It's kind of similar to, uh, to Forest large open areas with good pylon spawns and also uh, a lot of density usually it usually holds a lot of density not as much as forest but it's like if you get a forest into a battlefield or battlefield into a forest you're usually clearing uh, with decent mob types you're usually clearing in that and you can see here it's the same same case here i managed to pull like drag all the elites after me and the elites that were uh, with us in the beginning they're already dead and I got to this spot here and got a power and I'm killing off the rest of the elites. And you can see here, I'm gonna be so far ahead on this 121 and I haven't even had a conduit on this one. So yeah, if, like you can see this, this it's just a globe fiesta on the ground and that's what you want guys. Uh, jumping into the next map, we got a crater and uh, this in my opinion is the third best map in the game. And I do li like this one a lot. Uh, it definitely beats out, uh, like if you get this one uh, with, um, uh, with with this particular tile set as I have here, you could probably spawn the boss on this floor alone. So you don't actually, you could actually get like uh, almost 100% on this floor, I would say. If you get a good mob type, good density, uh, very rare though. Uh, this particular uh, tile set here, uh, if you get two of the same room as we got here, we got one big room. This is my 120 solo push. I got one of the big rooms. If you get two of the big rooms, this is one of the best maps in the game because you have uh, you have a couple of really good pylon spawns and on top of it, you can drag everything to one location and kill them off, especially if you get the one with two big rooms. And you can see this room had a disgusting amount of density and there's even density below us and to the right. Silver Spire, uh, is uh, in my opinion the fourth best map but usually you do not get very good tiles with this map I mean it's usually disappointing nowadays the you usually get the ones with a lot of bridges uh, but you should definitely check this map out do not leave this map if you get get it that this map can be really really good and one of the best if you get the good tile so definitely try this one out if you get it Next map is Oasis. You should definitely try this one out as well if you get it. Um, this one kind of looks like Battlefield a little bit, but smaller and does not have the same density as a Battlefield or Forest. Uh, and uh, it's good, but you usually don't kill off elites as well as Battlefield and Forest. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really nice, but I do, do not like it as much as the other maps. But this is like a good follow-up map. If you get a good forest, you get this one. 
uh, or this one here. This is the like I don't know what this map is called actually, but I'll call it uh, uh, the Puke Oasis. Like it looks like Puke, the coloration. Uh, that one I don't like so much because of the like smaller pathways and uh, like it's better than many other maps in there uh, in like the map pool, but it it's down below uh, of, of the better ones. It's definitely not even close to as good as the other ones that I mentioned. Um, this mob type here, guys. So let's just jump into mob types while we're at it. This is probably the best mob type in the game. I would say this or Transformers. Um, you can see here, like, why am I, like, getting more and more mobs here? You, you may wonder. Like, I have some enemies right now, and it's, like you can see, do you see the zombies to the left being summoned? And that is because we have Wretched Mothers with this mob type. Uh, people call this mob type Lacuni Thrall Phase Beast, or just Lacuni Thrall. It is actually not Phase Beasts, but Warping Horrors. This mob type is really good because you have two summoner mob types. You have the Return Summoners, and then you have the, uh, uh, then you have the Wretched Mothers. And they summon, like the Wretched Mothers, they summon Zombies, and uh, the summoner summons skele skeletons. So you also have Lacuni, Lacuni Thralls, and you do also have uh, the Warping Horrors that give a lot of progress, combined. Sometimes you have a little bit of Grotesques as well, but not many. You have one, like one, two zom Zombies, uh, I mean uh, Grotesques uh, as well. But yeah, jumping into the next mob type that I, that is probably the second best mob type in the game. This is Transformers. And this is from my Great Rift 120 solo push with Monk. You can see here that the cultists below me, they transform into uh, uh, into Lacuni La uh, La Thralls. I mean, to, into, <laughs> into Thralls. And it's Unholy Thralls. Uh, this mob type here is a little bit safer. You have one mob, one mob type in this mob type that actually deals a lot of damage. And that is the Dark Berserkers that you need to keep, uh, you need to, uh, to be careful of. Uh, the other mobs are slow moving and uh, they're usually, you know, they're usually not going to kill you. So a lot of progress, as you can see what I did on that floor. It's just an amazing mob type and uh, it's slow moving as well, which I do like. We got summoners here and uh, I do like this one, <laughs> this mob type a lot. You, I mean, you, you saw me enter this room, how dense it was, guys. That's why I'm laughing. It's just absolutely insane. Like when I'm when I'm done with this room, you're gonna see like the blue is gonna be low. Even if it wasn't health link, uh, it was it would be low because of all the area damage I was able to deal with all the summons from the summon return summoners. So this mob type is really good uh, and can be good for uh, for solo play for group play. Same with the two other mob types that I uh, had before this one, but I would rank this. Uh, the, like I would have this uh, at the third place. The other two mob types are just insane w when they're good, and the same same thing with this. This one is also good when it's when it's good. It's really good. So sometimes you actually don't get any summoners at all. That's why I say good when it's good, because you don't get the summoner density. Sometimes you just get the other mobs, and uh, then it's really bad. Uh, we got Lacuni Slasher, uh, fourth best mob type. Uh, this is one of the few mob types where I've seen 100% on one single map with. This is usually very dense, this mob type. So keep that in mind when you get less Lacuni Slasher. If, if it's good for your class, you definitely want to try it out. You have one problem though, and it's the same thing with uh, Lacuni and uh, Phase Beast, or Lacuni and Thrall, as, as the rank 1 mob type as I had. Um, you have one problem. You you have a lot of incoming damage sometimes. Uh, this one has the uh, the um, like you can see there the shaman on the left to me. He's uh, throwing fireballs uh, as you can see, bam, and they deal a lot of damage. And if you have a lot of those, you'll you know you'll take a lot of damage uh, from it. And also the lacuni slashers they have knockback, so a bit of a hostile mob type, especially for melee characters. But all in all, really, really good. This one here, Porcupine, uh, very nice and does not deal that much damage, actually. Uh, need to pay attention to the 
the icy porcupines so you don't get hit by too many of those at the same time but all in all very good progress they clump up good together and uh, they're easy to kill as well so i do like porcupines as well and uh, i would have porcupines uh like rank like as the, the fifth best mob type uh zombie grotesque is actually better than than uh, uh, Lacuni Slasher and Porcupine if it's good, but it's almost never good. That's why I rank it as rank 6 like uh, of the good mob types. I do like Zombie Grotesque a lot, but it's almost never good. That's why I don't like it. It's usually just a couple of Grotesques and not like... Uh, th this mob type does also come with uh, Mothers. That's why I like it a lot, but it's usually very disappointing guys so you you will definitely want to try this mob type out if you get a forest and, and it's like a good like good density uh, then you definitely want to try it out just keep that in mind that um, uh, you need to get lucky on this one quite lucky actually compared to the other mob types that I had mosquitoes one of the best like follow-up mob types and what I mean with follow-up is let's say you've had an amazing uh, floor with Lacuni, uh, Lacuni Thrall, uh, uh, Warping Horror, and uh, you know you you get ahead a lot, and you get this one uh, on the second floor. I mean, this one you'll continue to get ahead, and it's quite safe uh, as well. They die very quickly. That's what's so good about it. And when you're ahead a lot, and you've had a good first floor, you just want to kill trash. You don't want to focus on elite. You just want to get quick, quick progress and move on. That's usually why I like this one as a follow-up mob type. It doesn't mean that you can't get it and it's going to be good on the first floor. You're going to try it. If you get a good swarm forest, for example, uh, and get a good conduit, you can pull off 75% 70, on one floor. It's uh, a really good mob type. Let's start with the best elites in the game, guys. This is one of the best elites. It is not the best, but Maggot Broods. Maggot Broods summon maggots and the maggots give you progress the progress uh like you'll continue to get progress especially i have a maggot brood horde just look at my progress meter and look at it when i'm done with the pack like i'm never gonna like uh, fall behind with this uh, elite here and what you need to look for is either maggot broods like if you get those maggot broods summoners like summoner elites you can get like uh um, the yellow summoner, uh, that means that you have an unburied and then you have minions that are going to be summoners. Or you can get like the wretched mother pack and uh, all of these three that I mentioned now, the maggot brood, the summoner pack and also the mother pack, if they have illusionist as an affix or horde, like horde is not even close to as good as, uh, as the illusionist. Illusionist is just absolutely retarded if you get it guys you'll know what i'm what i what i was talking about the illusionist actually when they pop illusions the illusions summon ads so can you imagine how many more mobs you get than like it's it's so much more than a horde pack so keep that in mind guys if you get it try it out you'll see here that just with this pack here i was able to keep keep ahead in time and also, the, look at the yellow. The yellow is almost dead, and all the minions are almost dead. I had no problem getting getting the damage on the yellow. Why? Because I had area damage, and I also was able to stay ahead of time because I had minions. Like the the smaller the smaller minions and the the yellow, they were summoning like smaller ads, the maggots. Look at the timer. Like easily get ahead of time on the uh, on an elite like that. And to the skippable maps, this is one of them. Uh, we got a sand map here, very easily skippable if it's a small one, and if it's a big one, you can sometimes actually keep up in time if it's a good mob type, but usually it's quite difficult to keep the elites following you on this map, so keep that in mind. Um, and as you can see here, I'm going to pull out the map soon, and you're going to be able to see that this was actually, in case, like in this case, a small one, and that's what she said. And... Uh, like I did get progress here, so I was I was happy with this floor actually being small. Next map, uh, a hell rift, always small, uh, 
and very easily skippable. Anyways, beautiful people, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.